everybody this is information man information man speaks podcast i want to thank everybody out there who may be listening to me live right now on spreaker i want to say peace and love to everybody out there we need a little bit of love right now uh, the world has had a tragedy as you know kobe bryant passed away in a helicopter crash in the Los Angeles area near the Thousand Oaks area with his daughter one of her teammates and there were other passengers on board um, I think her his daughter's teammate had her parents on board they're saying it was about nine eight between eight and nine people who have died in the in the crash it's a tragic situation None of us saw this coming But it also reminds me And it should remind you that Life is precious Live each day as if it's your last And try to make amends With those in your family That maybe you've had fallen outs with Last night Late last night on my My YouTube channel The Information Man Speaks Podcast Which is my second channel I did a uh, a video around this issue and um, I talked about how we need to remember the man more than just the athlete because Kobe Bryant is very dynamic, the things that he's done off the court and we need to examine that and that's what I'm going to do right now. This is the Information Man Speaks podcast but I'm piping this over, I'm going to send this audio to my first YouTube channel Which is Information Man Show The Information Man Show on YouTube Those of you out there That are listening to me Either live On Spreaker right now And you know the other platforms I'm on Doing my introduction I Those were rattled off Support the podcast Share it in your social media And check out my first YouTube channel Information Man Show so I want to get into it And um, Because this is a very uh, You know The people in Los Angeles are hurting right now The people around the world But most importantly his wife I believe Kobe Bryant had four children And one of those Beautiful daughters Died in the crash Yesterday God knows what the family is going through The wife The I mean, his other Kobe Bryant's other daughters have lost a sister. They've lost a father. They've lost everything. And I said this before on my my other podcast around Kobe Bryant that I did the other night ago. You know, ESPN, all the sports channels are going to talk about what he did on the court. A lot of people are going to talk about is he the greatest player? They're going to compare him to LeBron James. Okay. Um, to me, Kobe Bryant is better than LeBron James. I know LeBron James plays in Los Angeles right now, but let's not forget Kobe Bryant is the one that built that house. 
He is the most decorated, the most popular, the most liked, and the greatest player to ever don a Lakers jersey. Now, I I said it on my my uh, my video late last night that I never personally was a big fan of Kobe Bryant because I'm 50 years old. I'm kind of old school. I liked Michael Jordan. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson. I kind of followed that battle between the Lakers and the Celtics in the early 80s, which really put the NBA back on the map. So that's I'm kind of partial to that. That's just my bias. That's just my being who I am when in my generation. But even if I wasn't a big fan of Kobe Bryant because I wasn't following the Lakers that, at that time on that level, I still respect the man's talent. I respect his greatness. And most importantly, I respect more of what Kobe Bryant has been to the community of Los Angeles and what he has been in his philanthropy and his charitable giving and his working within the community, which is why he is beloved and which is why he was able to transition as, as well as he did outside of sports because he had a purpose. You see, man, a man must have purpose. A man must know uh, where he's going. And too often, Athletes, when they retire from playing their sport, they don't have purpose because their purpose was only wrapped up in being the athlete. But see, Kobe Bryant was more than that. And you're not going to hear this from a lot of people talking about Kobe Bryant on radio. Some you will, some you won't. Even on YouTube, it'll be focused around the athleticism of Kobe Bryant, but not the activism of Kobe Bryant. And what I'm going to bring to you is his activism. Now, Essence came out with an incredible article so you may want to check this article out but i'm going to go over it because i think it's very important it lays out 10 times kobe bryant was a star off and off the court he was a star of the court and he was a star off the court let me correct that this just recently um hit the presses january 27th 2020 by tanny and christian Sports legend Kobe Bryant will likely be best remembered for his skills on the basketball court, but his philanthropy efforts did not go unnoticed, and it should not go unnoticed. Tell the truth. On Sunday, January 26, the world lost one of the great Sports icons of the 21st century Kobe Bryant was a husband A father An NBA star Who will likely be remembered As one of the most well respected players To ever grace the court But outside of the game He changed with his Philanthropy His talent His philanthropy uh, Native known affectionately As the Black Mamba And that so that's sort of the theme, the the uh, the brand of Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba. He had hurt, he had heart for youth. So his um, Kobe Bryant was definitely a hundred percent with improving and helping youth in the community in Los Angeles. Here are the ten to show his great spirit, his giving spirit of Kobe Bryant. So we're going to go over it. Bryant with wife Vanessa Founded the Kobe and Vanessa Bryant Foundation The Kobe and Vanessa Bryant Foundation One of Kobe Bryant's last accomplishments In his philanthropy foundation He founded with his wife Extension extended itself to his previous found, uh, founder The VIVO Foundation Bryant announced in 2011 that they would start a charitable organization that would help homeless youth in Los Angeles. And we know that Los Angeles has a serious homeless problem. You've got the skid row out there. I've done videos and podcasts about this. Okay. The kick butt. The foundation also pays hosts to the Mamba FC, a youth soccer Club in Orange County So let me You know this is important They would start a charitable organization That would help homeless youth in Los Angeles Kick butt So kick butt is the I guess the Moniker name of this um, foundation 
And of course, as I said before, he's been involved in youth soccer club in Orange County. That according to the KVBFF website, trains young athletes to become leaders and promoters and promote health and fitness. So that's what Kobe Bryant was doing there. Kobe Bryant lends star power and skills to after school all stars. After school all stars. In 2007, Bryant signed on as a national ambassador for After School All Stars, an organization that promotes the academic success for country's youth. Throughout his partnership, the late NBA star frequently lent his voice and talent to help encourage young people to achieve their goals and to become leaders. He also raised money for the organization and was a frequent contributor to the Los Angeles chapter, which served 14,000 students in 38 schools, 99% of whom were children of different ethnic groups, meaning uh, black children. So this definitely uh, benefited, um, Black children in in, the, in in this in the community. Now it is it says the uh, ch- uh, children of color, but you you know how I feel about that. I, I'm not big into this whole uh, people of color type of thing. I like to be more specific as to where these programs are benefiting, but it is benefiting black people. And you know, in this society, we live in a society that when you are a black athlete in particular. <laughs> You know they don't like you to just focus on Just your own people Um, There's stigmas with that That comes with that from the society Does not make it wrong But Kobe Bryant's Charities and some of the things that he did In the community did benefit black Youth The five time all NBA Champion became founding Donor for the M. Let me see this. The N M A A H C. Those are the moniker words. The N M A A H C. Throw Kobe Bryant and Vanessa Bryant Family Foundation brought became a milestone. So I think that's the family foundation there. Became a milestone donor, contributing one million. So him and his wife, Kobe Bryant and the foundation, uh, were milestone don- donors, contributing one million or more. For the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture On on the day of the opening of the African American Museum of History at the Smithsonian That is in Washington, D.C. The NBA legend tweeted, go see this museum There is no greater testimony to this country than the stories that that are, have built this country and the honor of this country as part and so his foundation um, really brought attention to the African American Museum of History in the Smithsonian Museum in Washington D.C. Next Kobe Bryant Raise money and awareness for wars in Africa. Remember Dart Four, Dart Four, where people are still dying and being mutilated and mistreated. Well, Kobe Bryant was a part of that. In 2008, Bryant became a spokesperson for aid still required in creating a PSA to help bring awareness to the ongoing war in the region where men and women and children continue to be murdered and mutilated. That year, this particular year, 2008, the NBA MVP made a emotional appeal saying if we can unite people who are willing to take a stand, miracles can happen. Together, we have the power to save the world. Now, I want you all to hear this P- this PSA because I think it's very important. I have forgotten myself personally that Kobe Bryant uh, did this PSA because dark for um, black folks, Africans, black people within the continent of Africa in that particular area in the country, in the continent of Africa, because we know that Africa is not a country. It is a um, 
continent uh, He brought uh, attention to this And uh, I have forgotten myself personally Damn Kobe Bryant was uh, Talking about this And uh, you know when so many people were not even Talking about it or even not Were even aware So let's hear Brother Kobe Bryant The late Kobe Bryant And um, may the brother rest in peace I think uh, It's still unbelievable That he's no longer here with us We have the power We have the power to unite people If we can unite people Who are willing to take a stand Miracles can happen What do you stand for? In Darfur Hundreds of thousands have been murdered Mutilated Families torn apart Please take a stand with us. We have the power to save lives, to restore lives. Join us at AidStillRequired.org. Together, we have the power to change the world. Information is power. I'm back This is the information man Okay so you heard From Kobe Bryant himself I don't know how many of you out there remember When Kobe Bryant Talked about Dot 4 and what was happening In that area of the continent of Africa Which people are still Suffering today but he tried to bring attention to it And I think um, This is very honorable See I'm more con- I'm more impressed by what this brother did Off the court And even what he was doing when he was on the court playing Okay then I'm not Caught up in his stats And how many points he scored Who's better him LeBron, Michael and all that nonsense L- Let's leave that for the For the uh, Low hanging fruit of the sports channels And the people out there That are going to make those debates I think Kobe Bryant What he did on the court In his career Speaks for itself And I and I would challenge anybody That tells me that LeBron James is better than Kobe Bryant When you look at Kobe Bryant's Overall career And the fact that he made an impact Not only in the NBA But off the court I'd challenge anybody now let's look at another area These 10 areas uh, That Kobe Bryant was a star in Off the court NBA All-Star became a celebrity supporter Of Kathy's kids When fellow Laker teammate Lamar Odom Started a foundation For underprivileged inner city youth In New York and Los Angeles Bryant signed on with his support The organization's goal Was to provide educational tools Offer mentoring and tutoring services And create Recreational opportunities And generate Funds for research So Lamar Odom had a Foundation And Kobe Bryant Rolled up his sleeves And gave support financially And emotionally And you know that This program was dealing with Nine out of ten times Black youth in the New York area Because that's the area that Lamar Odom Derives from Now Lakers Legend donated books To LeBron James's Promise School So once again Kobe Bryant Took up his time and his effort To support LeBron James And his promise school Last June The former LA Laker Generously donated his Wizardor books Series to LeBron James Promise school The fantasy books for young adults Now remember Kobe Bryant won a Oscar Because he's been most famous now For writing books Children's stories And I think he's been involved He he was involved in Hollywood With writing 
stories that were geared towards children. So this brother was uh, multifaceted. We know that he spoke, he speaks uh, multi languages, particularly Italian, because he spent some time in Italy growing up before his family came to back to the United States uh, around 1991, if I'm correct there. So we're dealing with a young man who's not just a basketball player, but he's a renaissance man on so many different levels. And you got to give a lot of credit to his mother and father who raised him to be so grounded in this way. And I'm going to say this again, even if Kobe Bryant never uh, had left the high school and jumped right to the pros, if he was not good enough, this he would have still been a successful um, individual because he had all the, uh, the found, he had the foundation of that in the very start. So let's see the fantasy books for young adults, which focus on inner city basketball teams was created by Bryant shortly after he retired from the lead, the NBA. In December, in December, the literacy advocate called on fans to join him in helping children dream big by donating books. Reading is fundamental. Remember, they used to have that campaign on TV about reading being fundamental. And, you know, the fact of the matter is reading is fundamental and we need to read more and explore our minds through reading. The high school drafted drafty was a frequent contributor to the cause. And Bleacher Report uh, reported that the Kobe and the Lakers Youth Foundation donated to the Wizard book to LeBron James Promise School. I just want to repeat that. Now, another area of um, LeBron, uh, uh, Kobe Bryant, his greatness and his his greatness to being the best he can off the court is that the NBA star turned youth coach donates money to high school basketball teams. Um, I know for a fact in Sacramento, California, and I just recently got this information and it may be in, in here. I'm, I'm about to come up on this. He donated a substantial amount of money to a a girl sports program in the Sacramento, California area. Making it possible for that to be possible, to be a reality. Uh, days before 2019, the Christmas holiday, Bryant and his wife Vanessa sent five thousand dollar check to help support, as I was saying before, a Sacramento area sports team. According to the team's coach, the girl basketball program in Roseville, California, was in this desperate need of financial assistance. That when students who previously met retired NBA star early that year asked him for a donation to help the young women out the the contribution in the words of the 14 year old student athlete gave the Roseville girls basketball team program more opportunity to get better and to get prepared for their season that's right Tell the truth. And you're listening once again to the Information Man Speaks podcast. And I'm porting this over to my first channel, the Information Man Show on YouTube. So definitely check that out because um, I'm going to keep doing this as best I can. You are listening to Information Man podcast. Now. Kobe Bryant has another program that he's been involved in. It's called Kobe Bryant Acts of Beacon of Hope. The Beacon of Hope through makes a wish foundation. Now, we've seen these pro these kind of programs. The NBA has been involved in this where you have kids who may be dying of a terminal condition, cancer of some sort, leukemia, uh, and they have, you know, their wishes to meet their their most famous athlete, star, whatever you want to call it. And uh, Kobe Bryant has been heavily involved in this in this program for the more than 20 years. Bryant was an advocate for children battling life threatening illnesses, according to the Make a Wish Foundation over the span of his career. The father of four personally met with over 100 children through the 501 nonprofit organization that creates life changing wishes for youth. 
with critical sicknesses, as I said before, terminal illnesses in some cases. Prior to retiring, Brian would often invite children to games to reconnect, to inspire and provide escape from their situation, their health situation. See, this is the man. This is the man that Kobe Bryant, who he was. And this is what most of these Buffoonery Sports programs Are not going to go This deep into detail Now there may be some out there Like uh, Stephen A. Smith There may be some out there That are going to give you Some of this information But I know how it works They often want to go into the numbers Of who was the best player And I want to say again That my heart goes out Primarily to his Daughters who have lost a sister To his wife who has lost a husband To the daughters again who have lost Their father To the city of Los Angeles Who have lost a beacon of hope A man that was doing so much In the community The Laker family Let me give a shout out to them Those out there who are big Lakers fans Let me also say that The lives of the other people that were on the helicopter Let me say that I know that their families are going through a lot of pain And of course we know about Kobe because he was the celebrity He was the one who had the the name Now check this out Kobe Bryant was doing a Hell of a lot The former LA Laker stands up To cancer so he was A big promoter to fighting Against cancer Through a number Of organizations and avenues Brian raised money For cancer research Medical uh, expenses In 2012 he joined With an A-list celebrities For the annual stand up to Cancer telecast Event which raised more than 81 million dollars For Fight against cancer To fight against cancer And to create funding for cancer research So that money was used To further the collaboration of building uh, More um, Ability for us to fight cancer Through research And it takes money We live in a world that anything When it comes to diseases Terminal illnesses It takes money Even though I personally Think that They could fight cancer But let me give a pillow My own political spin to it These pharmaceutical companies They don't want you to have The cure everybody they want you to live With the sickness because there's no Profit in giving you the cure There is only profit in having you take a medicine And live with your sickness as long as possible That they can juice money out of you personally Or out of your medical insurance policy That's a fact Now During the year 2012 When Kobe Bryant was involved in this particular fight against cancer He posted on Facebook This is Kobe Bryant We have to stand up to cancer Kids should not have to suffer from cancer That's a quote from Kobe Bryant That was posted on Facebook by Kobe Bryant That was his commitment Now I'm not a big fan of China Communism Their air quality is terrible The way they treat their people are terrible The human rights issues in China is horrible And we know just just recently the NBA Some of the players in the NBA I think LeBron James gave criticism To the way they're doing things in China And China decided that they were going to pull out Their commitment uh, To telecasting NBA games in China And that's a big market That's the NBA's biggest market because they make a lot of money They've got tons of people in China But I just gotta be honest um, Because uh, Kobe Bryant established The Kobe Bryant Chinese China Foundation And I had to say what I had to say Because I'm not a big fan of the country 
But this is what uh, Kobe Bryant did. He was an international type of guy. Now you may say, well, you know, he's why is he giving money uh, to the Chinese government or to the chi- to China to help people? Now we know that the Chinese are under a, a oppressive government. But this is what Kobe brother Kobe Bryant was about. He was about helping all types of people. He did do things to help black youth, but he was uh, had this kind of international perspective to him. And the truth of the matter is, a lot of these, a lot of times, when athletes get involved in charity charities, they're being asked to do help this, to help that charity, to work in this foundation. They've got a lot of people pulling at them from all different levels. But let me go ahead and just break it down to you. During the 2008 Beijing Olympics, China took a liking to Kobe Bryant as the Wall Street Journal reported at the time. He was named a cultural ambassador to the country by the Asian society and was looked at as a charitable diplomat. In 2009, Bryant donated 5 million yen to the lunch Lunched the Kobe Bryant Chinese Fund, which was established as a way to raise money for sports and culture programs in the Republic. Together with the Kobe Bryant fa- uh, Family Foundation, he also provided opportunities to American youth to learn Mandarin language as well as cultural enrichment themselves culturally enriching themselves by learning about the traditions of the Chinese people now let me just say this this is for my people black people personally this is my personal spin on this I understand you know Kobe Bryant was an international charitable brother did a lot of things off the court and that's tremendous tremendable but I think here in America him being black black people catching hell in this society and we damn sure need reparations I think uh, the black community or a black community could have benefited from the five million dollar program per seeds that he gave to China. I think our communities or a black community could have benefited from that tremendously. But that is not to say that Kobe Bryant did not take that type of money and put that into a black community or some program that was benefiting black youth that we just haven't heard about yet. There's so much more that will be coming out about this brother and what he did in his charitable um, acts. But that's just my personal spin on it. I think it's just like uh, Dr. Dre. I think Dr. Dre donated 20 million or 30 million or 10 million, something where around there to you to the uh, University of USC. Now, to me personally, that money could have been better spent uh, donating it to a historical black college in HBC or a particular community from which he comes from south central la hell he could have he could have created a school for black folks in south central la a program um with the money he gave usc usc is not bleeding for money these universities make big time money just off the football and sports programs in their research that they do with their scientists in those schools so that's my soapbox that's my own personal opinion about it So with that said, this is the Information Man Speaks podcast. Everybody out there, make sure you support the program. These are the platforms I can be heard on. The Information Man podcast can be heard on nine major platforms on the second YouTube channel as well. Information Man Speaks podcast. Spotify, Anchor, Apple Podcasts. Google Podcasts, Podbean, CastBox, SoundCloud, and finally, Spreaker. Once again, I want to thank everybody for listening. I just had to bring this to the table. Um, When I thought about it, I said, damn, I could have added this to the video that I did on my second channel the other night ago. But I felt let me go a little bit deeper because this is about what Kobe Bryant was about off the court. I don't give a damn about the basketball court anymore. I mean, it's written in history what he has done on the basketball court. That cannot be changed. That cannot be denied. But I think we need to examine 
that Kobe Bryant I'm more of a fan of Kobe Bryant For the things that he was doing in the community Than I am of him ever On the court personally That's just my personal way I see it Because Too often we focus on sport And play with people And we need to see people for more than just Being an athlete, an entertainer And Kobe Bryant Certainly Had a lot Going for him So once again, thank you for listening to the podcast. This is a tough time for his family. Personally, I can't imagine what his father, his mother, his wife, his remaining daughters that have that that, 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 that survived and weren't on that plane. I can only imagine what they're going through right now, how they're feeling today. Can everybody do me a favor and share this podcast, share the in your social media. If you're listening to this on YouTube, share this, please. It's very important. If you're listening to this on all those other platforms, Google Podcasts, Anchor, Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, please uh, share this podcast with people that you know. I think this is very important because you're not going to hear everybody Breaking down in detail Some of the things that Kobe Bryant was known for Known for We have the power We have the power to unite people If we can unite people who are willing to take a stand Miracles can happen What do you stand for? In Darfur, hundreds of thousands have been murdered Mutilated Families torn apart Please take a stand with us We have the power to save lives To restore lives Join us at aidstillrequired.org. Together, we have the power to change the world. Information is power. You are listening to Information Man Podcast. Peace and love, everybody.